Hello and welcome to Career Connections. I'm Nick Foy, and our guest today is a Curry College student as well as a recreational artist who specializes in calligraphy and painting. Here today to show some of her previous works and uh, perform a quick demonstration is Lexi Hansen. Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Uh, now, Lexi, you um, went to Italy last semester and took a painting class there. Uh, tell us a little, bit, uh, a little bit about that. So we had a painting class, and we would go sit around Florence and go to different places, and we would kind of just paint what we saw. Um, we had a really great art teacher who's very talented, taught us a lot, um, new skills to use and things like that. All right, now uh, artists spend hours, even months, working on a, a painting. How long does it normally take you to perform or to uh, complete a, uh, a painting? So typically the ones that I really like, I find that I spend the least amount of time on. The more time I tend to spend on a piece of art, um, the more I dislike it usually. So All right, That's yeah. interesting. That's, you never see that a lot. I know. I think it's because I look at it too much. Mm -hmm. All right, now uh, we are going to jump into this demonstration here. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of calligraphy. Uh, what do you got for us? So we're going to do a quote today, and it's, okay. a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. All right, now before we jump in, any techniques or uh, tips you got for me, because this is my first time doing anything like this? So I would say go with the flow and uh -huh. kind of just see where the marker takes you, and if you make a mistake, go with it. All right, perfect. Let's uh, jump right in. Okay. Now, I haven't taken any art classes since, like, middle school, so... Um, even the viewers don't don't judge what you're about to see. Uh, it might be a little iffy. Um, now you brought some some paintings here for us. One of them you actually did um, while you were abroad in Italy, and yes. it is the Adele painting to your right. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So she got a little damaged on the way home, mm -hmm. but our assignment was we could do either someone's face or a street view. So her album had just come out. I picked her face to do because it's very symmetrical, and I think she's has a gorgeous face. Mm -hmm. So I painted her. It only took me a couple hours, and it's one of my favorite pieces. What kind of utensils did you use for that? Because right now we're using Sharpies just for the calligraphy, but you yeah. brought a couple uh, uh, brushes for us. For so for the majority of the painting, I used this brush and one that was a little larger. Mm -hmm. But when I got to her eyes, eye makeup, and eyebrows, I used one probably this size just okay. so I could get um, all the detail of it and really get in there and do it. All right, awesome. Now. Uh, how are we looking so far? We got a, a big discrepancy in uh, talent right now. So you got to kind of flow with it flow more. It. Don't worry so much about like the little individual parts. Mm -hmm. Worry more about the overall and make it okay. flow together. Now, do you have a, uh, a calligraphy alphabet you, you base anything off of? Or I mean, I, I'm sure there's plenty of calligraphy alphabets out there. Right. What's your biggest inspiration for calligraphy art? So there are a lot of different calligraphy alphabets out there. Typically, um, what comes to my mind is a lot of fonts on the MacBook and variations of that font. Mm -hmm. So I do tend to look on my laptop and blow them up a little bit. Um, or I go on Pinterest because they have a lot of uh, different fonts that kind of are even based on the MacBook fonts. All right, and uh, actually this one over here, uh, Make Love Not War, you said you made off of a... Um, a font off a Mac that Steve Jobs has always said calligraphy was a big inspiration for a lot of his art, um, for a lot of his fonts, excuse me. So um, that one was actually a Mac font? Yep. So I was thinking about that quote in my head, and that font kept coming to my mind. So I scrolled through all the fonts on Word, and I ended up picking that one, blowing it up, and just kind of painting it from there. All right, awesome. So we are uh, finishing things up here. So um, you actually not taking any classes here, right, for no, art? No, I'm not currently taking any art classes at Curry. Do you plan on it? Um, I may take a few before I leave. Typically, I like to do things on my own, though, and I don't like to be forced to do anything. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was a great experience taking it in Italy since that's where a lot of art was made. All right, so now if you are a viewer at home and you would like to uh, find uh, classes here at Curry you can take, go to curry.edu and look at programs and courses and you can find a couple classes here to uh, either enhance your skills or become uh, even just a beginner artist. And I'll just finish this up real quick and then uh, we can show a little, uh, little bit different there, but uh, I guess own, own taste, I guess? Yeah, I guess <laughs> it's just different styles. Yep. No right or wrong. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, so that will uh, do it for today's show. Lexi, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. And uh, my name is Nick Foy. Thank you for watching Career Connections, and uh, tune in next week.